Can, can you hear me all right? Can you hear me now, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. I, I just wondered, uh, Ian, I know you're saying you're talking specifics about having to go to Switzerland away, but I just wondered in general terms what this means in terms of the the pressure uh, on the rest of the qualifying campaign now. Um, and having said that this was a must-win game and it, it didn't come, it's kind of, it turns the pressure up that that extra notch on you, does it not for the rest of the campaign? On me or the... Or the or on everybody involved, really. It, it means we, we, we know that what we have to go and do and, put, and you know, we have to beat one of the bigger teams and, and say, um, you know, it's not beyond us. It's not beyond the players. It's not beyond um, the group the group as a whole. And I think, you know, hopefully next 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 season, I'll say next season, September, October, November, we have fans in the in the stadium and that that, that that's um, a massive part of what what we're about as a, as a nation. I think you know if that, that was full tonight and bouncing, I think we'll win that game. I really do. And um, you know they suck the ball into the net. Let's not forget about stuff like that. They're, they're the sort of types of games that you know the fans play their part and they get us over the line. But they can also um, help us with the bigger nations coming here as well. And and, and again, these group of players that have performed uh, in these bigger games when it's uh, you know, under the lights, full out, and, and you know, it's not beyond. Thank you. Here's Andy. Ian? Uh, hi, Ian. Um, as you say, that, that one probably feels very raw at the moment. I guess one thing that did come out of it was that it's your first clean sheet. Would you be able to take some positives when you when you look back at it? Well, yeah, yeah. You know, you know, I'll always take positives out of it, and, and I think there's a there's a lot to take from that. You know, we just didn't get the final result because we we, we didn't have the the end uh, the end of some some really good moves and and, and balls into the box and uh, that, you know, I can't say a great deal more than than that. Um, yeah, a, a clean sheet is pleasing, um, but I'd, I'd much prefer to have uh, been talking about a two one. Win and, um, and but but we take every crumb of positive that positive that we can get and and you know for the back four for for for, Bay, for his confidence you know I think that Daniel Ballard I thought was exceptional again tonight so again trying to build on his experience uh, brought him off to change the system to go to a four three three uh, and try and and um, hit them in different ways as well it uh, it just it just didn't go thank you. Dave? I'm okay, thanks. I don't think there's anything left to, to torture poor Ian about. I think he's answered everything. No worries. Stephen, Graham? Yes, um, I'd like to ask Ian a question, if that's okay, Danny, yes? Yeah, of course. Um, just, yeah, it was a difficult night for you, Ian, in terms of doing a lot of things right, but just not finishing at the end, really. Which is what we all wanted, I suppose. What are your views on? Did you think that the fourth, the switch in formation, um, was a positive impact on the team, and is it something that you will look at or keep under review moving forward? Well, I'm I'm a coach manager that's not not stuck in his ways that we have to play a certain way, and um, you know, I'd already alluded to the fact that that we can play in in, in several different ways. You know, players are used to. Um, Playing, playing one or two different systems and um, you know the changes that we made uh, tried to be positive with it tried to, to, to get nine on the ball a little bit in the center of the park first of all and then we had the we spoke about half time that we may change to a four three three and that they knew that their jobs if that happened and and and, and that did and we managed to as they were tiring we managed to get more pace down the sides you know Matt Kennedy came on and, and probably put on put up in five or six crosses um, and, and Niall moved out to, to the right or they switched flanks. It, it was, you know, I don't think it was for, for the one to try. And, and um, you know, it wasn't just, you know, throwing players at it willy nilly, you know, that they understand the roles in certain situations, in certain certain um, formations. And, uh, you know, again, couldn't quite get it over the line. Thanks, Ian. Could I just ask you one more, possibly? You know, we're looking ahead to the next competitive game and, you know, the next qualifier in September. Um, would you consider or are you considering maybe friendlies like a summer camp or something like that to, you know, to keep trying different formations and different players, possibly even deal in charge? You know what I'm saying? I'm, yeah, Stephen, we're, we're, we're obliged to play two games in the summer. 
um, through UEFA, through the, the TV. So we've got, uh, we go to Turkey, we get together in, at the end of May, we go to Turkey and then we move on to the Ukraine. So two teams that are, are going to be um, putting their final preparation before they get to the Euros. So we'll, we'll, we'll go there. Um, you know, I'll have to speak to the players in the next couple of weeks and, and, and see about their availability. Um, it will have been a long, hard season for them during this COVID season. Uh, and there's no, uh, no onus to, for them to, to join up. So that will be a, um, something that's for me as a manager. You know, I'm asking, asking them, yes, come and be part of the group. And it, and it helps us going forward, I think. But we'll also integrate some of the, the younger players as well and, and in a more relaxed uh, fashion in, uh, in in Turkey, okay, we, we, we may have the freedom to go and do one or two things more as well to, to bomb the group. Thanks, Ian. Cheers, Steve.